That is for Emily. Um, it was a little ode to MC Hammer, but the iPhone 3G is coming out tomorrow and you all had some questions about what the heck 3G means. So paying homage to MC Hammer and uh, the iPhone, I thought I'd explain what exactly 3G means. But first, why am I talking to you down here versus up there? Well, the built-in um, camera in my iMac went fritz on me. Kaput, kapowie, it's done. But luckily I have an external webcam that I could talk to you in. But that still means I have to get that fixed, which doesn't make me so happy. So that's why I'm talking low today, hence the other angle of the place. What's going on with the iPhone and why is tomorrow so important? Let's, let's rewind. So what recently launched with the Apple is called SDK. The first thing that was really big in the space to, um, to know about and also for you to know about to make your um, phones more like toys and more fun, SDK means Software Development Kit. That means that programmers can apply they can download the SDK kit and make a widget, a program, an application, and submit it to Apple to go on your iPhone. The new iPhone app store launched today online, which means that current, like me, iPhone users and new iPhone users can go to the store and download applications made by software developers all across the world that were uh, approved by Apple. Anything from seeing baseball scores live, uh, tracking systems, um, more than just stock and, and GPS, there's so many applications and so many games that are available for iPhone users. That was a big thing. The other big thing, 3G is basically faster than the Edge. The current iPhones work on the Edge network, which is AT&T's Edge network. If I am in Panera Bread or Argo T and I see the, uh, the Wi-Fi signal, that means I can use the Wi-Fi for free and it's faster. But then if I don't have that signal, I can still use the AT&T Edge. That is smaller, I mean smaller, that is slower than the 3G system. That's why it's such a big deal tomorrow. What's also happening tomorrow, um, the phone will be available across the globe, not just in the States and in Canada. On top of that, the phone is $199. It is cheaper. It's $199 for the 8G, the 8 gig. It's $199 because AT&T is helping subsidize the cost of the phone to make the actual device cheaper for you. However, the data plan is 50% more per month in working with AT&T. Hey, they have to make up their money somehow, right? So they're making a $200 device for you to buy, but you're still paying extra for the data plan and the phone plan and whatnot through AT&T. If you ask me, they should just um, make available the iPhone for four or 500 bucks and make it unlocked, which means we be the, buy the iPhone just like they do in Europe. You buy the phone and you select what carrier you want to work with. So keep in mind, if you want this iPhone, you want to use it, you need to break your current contract with whomever you're with, or wait until it's over and then get the iPhone. So Emily, that's the difference between the Edge and 3G. I love my iPhone. Oh, another big thing, the new iPhone is, will be built in with a built-in GPS system. But here's my thing, don't get the iPhone right away if you don't have to, if you don't need one. Wait until you see what the tech writers are talking about, wait till you see what mass media is talking about, wait to see what the battery life is, how much the battery life gets sucked out of the iPhone, and then buy it. Another thing to keep in mind, when you buy your iPhone, you have to go through a credit check and activate on the spot. That is rumored to speed the process down in all Apple stores. If you can avoid the Apple store, go to an AT&T store and get your iPhone instead of the Apple store. I'll probably be at the Apple store tomorrow because I want to see the hubbub of what's happening with uh, all those Apple geeks out there that love their iPhone as much as I do. Will I get a new iPhone? No, not for a while. I'm completely content with the Edge network and 3G and not really complaining about it. So with that, let's um, let's go out with MC Hammer in celebration of uh, the iPhone coming out tomorrow. Emily, I hope that answered your question. All right? Who doesn't like MC Hammer? If you're too young to know MC Hammer, I'm sorry. You should discover some of those old tunes from the 90s. And to all my friends that know how much I love MC Hammer, every night, baby. Here's the hook. Okay. <laughs>